Hey everyone, it's Pastor Chelsea and you're watching The Thursday Show and we are here for the season finale of season two of The Thursday Show. Can you believe it? 75 episodes of The Thursday Show have been created just for you. And so I'm so glad that you've joined me for all or part of this journey. And today we're gonna wrap up season two. We have a couple fun things in store for you today. But before I get into them, if you could like, comment, or subscribe to this video, what's so great is even though this is a season finale, there's still lots of great content we're gonna put out as Colonial Woods. So make sure you're subscribed so that you can stay informed when that content comes out. And then liking and commenting on this video is going to help enter you into win a special prize that I'm giving away. More details coming on that, so you gotta stick around to the end of the episode. So here we are, the season finale, episode 75. I cannot believe that it has been two years of creating, recording, producing, editing the Thursday show. And over those two years, God has taught me um, just some incredible personal life lessons. And so I wanted to share a little bit with you of what God has taught me through creating the Thursday show, because I know that there are a lot of parallels and truths that might also spill over into what you create in your life. Well, the first thing that I've really learned from the Thursday show is just how important it is to share your story. Every single one of us has a story to share. God has created each of us unique with the things that we've learned, the lessons that we've had, and also with our unique personal relationship with him. And so it's so important for us to share those stories. If you've joined me at all for the Thursday show, or if you're watching now, it means you've gotten to see a small glimpse of my story of what God has taught me, of what he's still teaching me. And it has been a huge honor for me to get to share that with you. But the same is true for you, wherever you are at in your life situation. There are people around you who need to hear your story. And so it's important for you to find platforms and avenues for you to share that story. Back in season one, we did a whole episode on this, on sharing your story, episode 35. So if you wanna check back on that and reference it, there you go. Episode 35 talks all about sharing your story in more depth. But my encouragement for you today, whether it's through your Facebook, your Instagram, through YouTube, through texting, through in-person conversations, building relationships with your neighbors, however you share your story, your God story, make sure you're sharing it. The second thing that creating in the Thursday show has really taught me is that it doesn't have to be perfect. This has been huge for me because you may or may not know this, but I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. Okay, maybe a lot a bit of a perfectionist. And there have been so many times over these 75 episodes where I go back and watch it later and I realize I made a mistake with editing or, or I trip over my words and I don't get it exactly perfect or I say the wrong reference number for a Bible verse or my makeup's not perfect. So many things have not been perfect with the Thursday show. But I think God has really been using this to show me that he can still work even through our human error, our human mistakes, our human imperfections. In fact, sometimes I think he can work all the greater through those moments where we're not perfect and where we don't have it all together. There's been a verse that's one of my favorite passages for a long time, but I think it's one of those ones that I'm just going to have to keep being reminded of its truth and of its lessons throughout my whole life long, being a perfectionist. And that comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 9 and 10. It's the Lord, he's speaking to Paul. He's talking to Paul specifically at that time about the thorn in his flesh. And we don't exactly know what that was, but we know it was something that was difficult that Paul was going through and that he was carrying. And the Lord says to Paul, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I, Paul, will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Sometimes God chooses to work through our strengths because he's given us a lot of great talents and things that we're good at. But there are some times where God works through our weaknesses. And maybe, I don't know, it might be those times where he is all the more glorified because clearly we are not capable or strong enough on our own. And so those moments that weren't always perfect, 
have been good reminders, yes, to humble me, but also to point to God's glory. Because there were times where there have been episodes where I felt like it was a total flop, and then I would get an email from somebody about how God had used that to minister in their life. Not me. God gets all the glory in those cases. And so maybe for you, if you feel at times like a perfectionist, you can relate to me in that way. Maybe God is using moments in life where things don't go exactly your way or moments in life where you feel weak to point to his glory, to humble you a little bit, yes, but then to put him on display all the greater because when we're weak, then when something awesome happens, he's the one who gets full credit. The third lesson that the Thursday show has taught me is to be consistent. Now in my life, I feel like consistency has been something that I've struggled to be consistent with. I don't know why I'm really good at like giving my all at something, but then I'll kind of fall off after a little while or I'll get distracted and want to move on to something different. And so for whatever reason, I have had the limiting belief that I'm just not a consistent person. But the Thursday show has been so good for me because it kind of forced me into this habit of consistency. I had to be consistent week after week because I made that commitment with the Thursday show. And it's amazing how quickly we can grow and um, learn a new skill when we force ourselves to do something that consistently over and over. So I guess if you're trying to learn something new or, you know, pick up a new tray or, you know, learn how to play an instrument, being consistent is the best thing that you can do to quickly expedite that growth process. But beyond just growing and getting better at something, being consistent with the Thursday show has taught me so much about who we should be as God's people. We should be consistent people as God's people. We should be consistent in who we are. We should be consistent in the way that we talk. I mean, the way that I talk on Sundays is the way I want to talk to you on Thursdays and is the same way I want to talk to my family on Friday. We should be consistent in every single aspect of our life with who we are, with what we say, with, with how we show up, letting our yes be yes and our no be no, as it also says in Corinthians. Can you tell I like Corinthians? We need to be a people who are consistent. And especially as we share our story, I'm, I'm thinking of like our online ministry and I'm thinking of social media as a platform. We need to be consistent with how we show up. And so as we're ready to launch into this summer, and I'm sure God has all sorts of amazing things in store for me and for you, how are you going to be consistent with how you show up for others? How are you going to be consistent with how you spread his light, showing the world who Jesus is? It shouldn't just be a Sunday morning thing. It should be something that is consistent across the board of who you are and where you show up. So you as a Christian, you as a Christ follower, should be consistent with how you show up Sundays, how you show up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It should be consistent with how you show up on social media, the types of things that get you excited, that you post and share. Now, I'm not saying you have to go and share every single Christian meme that says, if you don't share this, you're a bad Christian, but there should be evidence of God's work in our lives in every single facet of our life. For me, that's really been what this Thursday show has done over the past two years, and I'm very thankful for it. I'm thankful for those of you who watch it because it's allowing God to get the glory through this simple YouTube, Facebook video that I create once a week. But that doesn't just have to be true for pastors or people who can create YouTube videos. That can be true for you as well. With where you show up in your life, you can have that same kind of impact reaching others for Jesus. To be honest, some of the most encouraging things that have come from the Thursday show have come from your stories that you've then shared with me. I think of Donna from Pennsylvania who joined our online ministry as a church back during COVID and she would watch faithfully every single Sunday. Well, then she sadly went through a great loss where she lost her husband and we were able to still be there for her as a church because of the connection that we just built through Facebook. And so it was so awesome a couple weeks back when Donna happened to be visiting Michigan for the first time in years, she wanted to come visit her church family at Colonial Woods, where she had only ever watched us online, but we were now able to make an in-person connection for the first time. 
That's an amazing story. God gets all the glory for that. But how cool that we were able to use our online platforms to be able to love and hug her from afar. I also think of Darwin, who lately, weekly, will send me an email or a message praying over the Thursday show. Not praying for me, but praying for how God is going to use the Thursday show in your lives. I think of Clay, who started watching us after we did the interview with Dr. Hutch Yuri during our Awaken series, who inspired me with some of our Bible study series with topics that we should talk about. I think about Samab from India, who messaged me and saying how even though we have different faiths, he was still so challenged and encouraged by the episode that we did about comparison that it led into him and I having a conversation about it. I also think of Sherry, who just stumbled upon the Thursday show this year and decided to go back and binge watch all of the episodes and leave comments for me on every single one. Those stories and others like them have been an encouragement and inspiration to me. So thank you for those of you who've been watching and I wonder now if the Thursday show has all been helpful for you or has inspired you in some way, would you leave me a comment and tell me maybe what God's taught you through these episodes or just been teaching you in general lately? I would so love to hear some of your stories as I've shared a little bit of my story with you. And that leads me to the prize that I would like to give away for this season finale of the Thursday show, season two. I want to give away a free dinner on me for you and a friend or you and your spouse. And so for everyone who comments on this video, a little bit of incentive, a little bit of bribery, I get it. But if you comment on this video, even if you just say hi, that will enter you into a giveaway to potentially win a dinner with me, maybe with Adam. We'll see if I can get him to come along too. But I would love to get to sit down over a meal with you and hear your story, hear what God's been doing in your life. And hey, if nothing else, it's a free dinner. So comment and that will enter you into that giveaway. I will reach out and connect with the winner and then we'll set up a date. It'll be a fun time. As for the future of the Thursday show, I'm not quite sure where God's gonna lead me in the future days ahead, but I know I'm excited about it. I have so many different ideas of what we can do with our online ministry, so many different ideas of things we can do as a church at Colonial Woods. And it's been such an amazing season of growth and just newness that I honestly have no idea what this fall is even going to look like, but I'm excited for it because I know that God is leading me. He is leading our staff. He's leading our church. So if over the summer you could think and pray for me, that would be amazing. I would so appreciate that. Um, come September 22nd, We'll be back with another Thursday show episode to announce what will be new for season three. So make sure you, well, I don't know if you have to mark your calendar. It's not like this is like a life or death thing, but just so you know, September 22nd, that's when I'll be back. So I hope to see you then. Well, friends, that brings me to the end of this, our season finale. I thank you so much for watching. I thank you so much for just being a part of our online church community. I pray that you have an incredible summer. I pray that God does mighty new things through you as you share your story with those around you. Be blessed over this summer and I'll see you in the fall.